Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Dragon Quest Nine. We are going to climb back up this everlasting staircase in town. And we are going to ascend into the magma room. Hi there. Which, as you can see, is covered in lava. This is an active volcano after all, and we have our favorite I for you this. Basically, they function identically to the purple piles of poisonous puke, only they're red hot lava. Yeah, they'll take care of those guys fast. Ooh, treasure! Lava lump, okay. Now, of course, you could use safe passage to prevent that damage, but since the damage is generally minimal anyway, and safe passage is going to reset every time you get into a battle, in the end, it's not really worth it to me. Alright, there's a bunch of dead ends in this place, as well as treasure to be had. As you can see, I'm just gonna basically kick the crap out of everything in here, because I'm overleveled. Yeah, I forget he missed Josh. I'm gonna save her MP. I didn't kill him. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I'm like, if he's got like 5 HP left after that, I was gonna be mad. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna go out, make it a little bit lost in this place, because obviously some places are dead ends, and some places you have to go to progress. Okay, made the right choice there. Mini battle, good. We need to turn those in what we've gotten, but I'm going to do it after we've gone through this place, because we're going to do some unfinished business in between the time anyway, so might as well just do it then. Alright. Anything behind here? No! If I had actually looked at the top on the map, I could have told you that easily. Oh, this floor. Ew, I don't like this floor at all, because you have to go through in, like, three different staircases to, um, to get everything over here, so. As you can see, that place up north there we cannot get to from this floor. We have to go around. Which is a little sucky, but we can deal with it. I still haven't used any of my seeds. I've, I've actually never used any seeds, because they stay on the vocation and use them on, which can kind of suck. Wow, those guys are really weak. Weaker than I remember. But not that that's a huge deal. Let's go upstairs. I love these, like, random, like, staircasing. Things sitting in the middle here. Should I get one more to stop yawning now? Oh, shit. Mandrake Marauders. At least I think that's what these ones are called. Yeah, see, that's how we get to this chest right here. And that mini metal! That is good. There's one specific thing from the mini mills I want, and sadly I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it when I want it. Which is going to suck. But that's okay. I'll live. I can deal. Whoops, I totally walked into that guy. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there with the name game. I want Josh to go first, because he'll kill them all. There we go. Oh, that didn't kill him? Haha, -ha, you missed. I should get rid of them all. Oh, you kidding me? That was not cool game. Not cool at all. Punch that storm cloud thingy, John. Should that thing of evaporated water particles. Who's boss? Alright. I'll take out these guys. Yeah, these are Mandrake Marauders. They can be a bit of a pain in the butt because, um, they can be enraged somewhat easily and they like to summon for backup. So, well, they're not too, too difficult. Dude, you like, 
didn't hit me. You just, like, merged yourself into the ground. Yeah. That's just weird. But whatever. Lava beings. He looks like he's, like, defending, and yet I still managed to somehow hit him with my wand. That is just bizarre, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Give me some more money. I'm in desperate need of it. Can't, like, afford anything. It's just one of the just one of the biggest problems I have with this game is money is always a problem. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, like, everything in here is fire-related. Except maybe the Mandrake Marauders. I love how his hand just, like, slumps to the ground there. Just goes limp. Alright. Enter through the doorway! And go through this extremely short hallway. Alright, now this place is a little bit of a maze in this room right here, so forgive any jackassery with getting the treasures in here. Okay, no, that's not the way to go, you moron. Um, I don't think there's any treasure over here, but I'm going to take a look nonetheless. Oh, there is! Uh, stand correctly, Hades Helm, that is a cursed item. These Moai things just are scary to me. They are. It's just the way they jiggle when you hit them. Although it is funny the way they die. Yeah, see, I raise your attention. You're gonna be dead anyway. See, I like how they just like like tumble over. Like that. Give me some MP. I should hear Josh. Actually, next time we get no battle, I'll show off multi heal because I didn't actually get to show that off. Look at how huge that staircase is compared to us in the background there. That is freaking scary looking. But anyway, since I didn't get to show off multi heal in the last boss battle because, well, I kind of kicked this butt before I could, um, I forgot the green dragons were in here. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Like right now, for instance. Multi-heal is a spell. Ooh, the last spell I have, rather. There we go. As you can see, it fares a very good amount of, it, of HP, so... I would definitely try to get this spell as soon as you can. Assuming you can, like, find a place where you can, you know, level grind efficiently. Such as the blowhole, and yes, I call it the blowhole, even though I know it's called the boho. I know several few people have noticed that I'm referring to things as the wrong thing, and that is quite intentional. I know how to read, but it's just fun nicknaming the crap out of things. If any of you have also watched my, um, I'm like stuck right there. <laughs> Uh, my Final Fantasy IV LP, you'll notice I'm giving a lot of stuff a nickname. So. Yeah, don't forget to come up here because we have a hallway that is otherwise inaccessible. Get around that guy, thank you. Like, up here. So this isn't the way to the top, is it? Apparently it is! Okay, never mind. I, I stand corrected then. I thought the, um... The, the lower right corner there on that other map was where I had to go, but apparently that one is a dead end. I stand corrected then, and I apologize. Ooh, safety shoes. Um, what do those do? Probably give evade. Okay, and I'm the only one who could equip them anyway, so let's put those things on. Alright. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll go and do some backtracking then, because I am a retard! Oh... Surprisingly though, this place is not very big. Which is kind of interesting, because we're considering we're getting later in the game, you know, you would expect the dungeons to be, you know, longer and more of an endurance than this, and they're really not. Or at least this one isn't. I mean, the blowhole... <laughs> Oh, it's the same way. Alright, I hate when battles get me all disoriented. Alright, I gotta go back around this way, yeah. Alright. Is that the way we came? Am I being a total dumbass here? Is that the way we came down? Yeah, oh my god, I'm a retard. Total retard. I knew there was a staircase there, and I was thinking like we came from like a staircase like right up here. I, I, I apologize for that, guys. Oh my god. I'm probably just misremembering stuff because um, due to a couple quests, I spent an inordinate amount. Sorry, hit the B button there. Time in here uh, grinding on certain monsters to get certain quest or quest only related drops. So I probably use that staircase frequently. In order to help stuff get, re uh, get stuff to respawn easier. So that's probably where my memory is coming from. Because I probably descended this place backwards, is what I probably most likely did. So, whoops! Oh well. At least this place is still isn't too long. I mean, we're not even at 13 minutes yet, and we've done the whole thing, literally. There's only six levels in this place. Because up here is the summit, and I don't know if it shows up yet. Yes, see? Um, this is actually similar to Xerox. This is actually a warping point. Despite the fact that the dungeon itself isn't even that long. Oh, bracer, alright. Actually... No, I want to heal up. Yay! Alright. Let's go through the archway here. Big glowy eyes. I know I sort of uh, spoiled last episode that Greynar was a dragon, and somebody pointed out that technically no NPC actually tells you this. Um, however, the game kind of makes it obvious. There's dragon armor everywhere in that place. Um, obviously, Hero of the Heavens thing, do you know your Dragon Legends people? And the fact that obviously Barbus himself is also a dragon, and, well, they're like both like 300 years old. And uh, considering the, the people in this. Thing, you know, this universe are clearly human. Obviously, Greynell had to be, you know, some manner of creature who was not human. So, even though I guess it was technically a spoiler, like I said, it's and this you know, this this game is called Dragon Quest, is it not? You know, you would think there would be dragons showing up in here somewhere. <laughs> so, apologies for that, but like I said, it was kind of obvious. Like, I figured it out the very first time I played this, despite, you know, not actually seeing the proof for myself. No! I'm here to be your friend! I need your help! You know, Big Black Dragon has returned, and, um, we kind of want to kill him, and we need your help. Yeah. We actually have to fight this guy. So our usual strategies here. Um, since this is a more magic-based fight, um, say so I'm going to insulate. That is the one I want, yes. Um, buff isn't really going to help you that much here. But insulate would be a good idea because he does use breath attacks. Because, well, he's a dragon. He breathes fire for crying out loud. Like that. 
even though I hadn't got that off yet. Fortunately, Insulate only protects one character at once. Obviously, he's a dragon, so, uh... Dragon Slash will serve you well here. And I'm gonna protect me, too. So there's nobody in the healing yet, Jake is. Otherwise, I don't want to say useless, but... Um, because he can still attack, but I'd rather get protection on my party first. Because he's a priest. He's there for support. He's not, you know, primarily in attacking. Oh, good. Hit me. I'm the one who has the most defense anyway. Hey, that was not fair, good sir. Not fair at all. All right. You. Um, that on me. And put that on John. Apparently, he's not really done much to me thus far. Which is actually a good thing, but then again, I am overleveled. Oh, finally, I'm faster than him. Alright, good. If you notice, though, Greyna only attacks once per turn. Yeah, he's one of the few bosses who uh, do that. Um, I'm gonna pull off a multi heal. Just because, why not? I don't know if he's capable of critical hits, but... Um, judging by my luck, he'll probably score one on John and instantly kill him. Again. Which sucks. And I know people have pointed out that I don't have the best stuff on John, but... He's still pretty hardy enough. And the fact that, you know, obviously if anyone gets critical hits in, um... Critical hits bypass defense anyway, so... Um, I don't even know what he's weak to. Um, I'm just gonna try crack. And you, um, Thunder's rest him, I guess. Probably gonna miss. Yeah. Kinda called that one. Eh, not too bad. Still not the amount of damage I'm doing, but... Wow, that was kind of anticlimactic. Um, yeah, sorry, we wanted your help, but we kind of just killed you. Look at him, he's just like lying like limp on the ground. Poor guy. Dragon scale! Very fitting. But no, we didn't kill him, we just kind of, um, knocked him back into his senses. He tried to kill us, so we returned the favor. Oh, see, now you came up here. She was the lady who was like, Oh, deliver a message for me. Oh, wait, no, I'll do it myself. That was her. Well, he attacked us first. Yes. If you had shut up for five seconds, we would have told you this, Great Isle. She's got balls of steel, man, if she's gonna yell at a dragon. Yeah! Me, 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 Yeah, Great Nala's a bit of an a-hole. over there. Yeah, you're a meaty pants, good sir. Hehehe, <laughs> shut up. No. Yeah. So if we try to leave, we get a little cutscene here. Yeah, see? I'm not stupid. I figured this out, Stella. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's just piss the giant dragon off. I don't think he says anything different, does he? Yeah. So we have to find another way to solve this problem. But we're gonna have to do that next time! See you later, everybody.